Hi everyone. Now we learn fourth science lesson one: life and survival of plant. And topic is plants in deserts, hills, marshes, and plains. So let's say uh, answer key of yesterday. What you write? The first question is that define adaptation. Answer the special features that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place are known as adaptation. Second question: Define habitat, the region or place where a living thing lives or grow naturally, is called its habitat. And the third question is: Name the types of terrestrial plant. Four types of terrestrial plants: one, plants in desert; second, plants in hills; third, plant in marshes; and fourth, plant in plains. So every student write this answer. and make a separate notebook to check out it later so let's start our today's session with the types of terrestrial plant ready so first type is that plant in deserts so what are deserts deserts are very hot and dry regions there is a less amount of water very few plant grow in this desert area because they receive very little rain there is no more rain in, no more rain in desert area that's why very few plants grow there to obtain water from the soil and to prevent water loss the desert plants have the following feature so there is already less water as well as to stop the water loss the plant which present in deserts have the following feature first feature of the desert plant is they either have very few leaves or no leaf at all so you can see that this is the desert plant either they have few leaves or no leaves in such plant the photosynthesis process in which by uh, using of sunlight plant make their food is carried out with the green stem so you can understand that no leaves in the desert plant but photosynthesis is carried out by the green stem is the first feature second feature is that the desert plants have spines you can see the thorn instead of leaves so desert plant do not have leaves but they have thorn okay so these spines or thorn prevent the loss of water and thus plant retain the water so already less water so this thorn prevent or stop the loss of water so this is the second feature third feature is that this desert plant have thick and fleshy stem so you can see that this is the stem and which is very thick and fleshy and that is useful to store water so this thick and fleshy stem used to store water and fourth feature is that you know that desert already have less water so that's why desert plants have long roots so this long roots go deep into the ground to absorb water so these are the four feature of desert plants let's some example first cactus second prickly pear third date we can eat it is very sweet and palm these are the example of desert plants second types of terrestrial plants is called plants in hills plants that grow in hilly areas and mountain adapt themselves to survive in cold condition do you know mountain already there is a snow there in the snow or ice the temperature is low so they can survive in the cold conditions so what are the features of the plant in hills first they have needle like leaves so you can see that the leaves are like a needle and with waxy coating means water does not get enter so that water will fall outside okay how are the leaves of plant in hills needle like leaves second the branches of this plants are sloping now you can see that there is a sloping branches and whatever the ice fall on these branches is slide down so this is the second feature sloping branches through which snow slide off easily third these plants or trees have cone instead of flower so there is no flower in the plant which found in hills they have cones for the reproduction and what are the examples of plant which found in hills one pine trees second cedar trees and third is that fir trees okay and third types of terrestrial plants that is called plant in marshes so what is in the marsh so you can see that marshy place where there is a sticky and clay soil you can see that this is a marshy place is sticky and clay soil 
and plenty of water means if any person stand on the soil so that can be sink or submerged into that soil okay so such areas are also called swamp so what is the swamp so swamp the area having sticky and clean soil and plenty of water so swamp is also called wetland because over all the year what is present there water there plants also grow but most amount of water is there you can see that this is a swamp or wetland long plants or trees are grown there but there is a more amount of water okay so marshes is the area where a sticky soil sticky and clay and soil that is plenty with water so what are the features of plant that found in marshes so first feature is that breathing root you can see that this is a plant and the roots are coming outside the soil you can see that the roots are coming outside the soil why roots are coming outside the soil for the breathing because in the area that is more amount of water they don't get air so these roots are come out for the breathing so that is called breathing roots the roots of the plant growing in the marshes are unable to get air therefore the roots of these plants come out of the water and soil now you can see that the roots of this marshes plant come outside the water to breathe or to take air so such kind of root which come out of the water and soil to breathe is called breathing roots so everybody understand what is in the breathing roots the roots which come out of the soil and water to breathe is called breathing roots and which plants have breathing roots the plant that present in the marshes or wetland second feature is that so this plant that grow in marshes are known as mangroves so mangroves especially the sundarban mangroves is the example of such kind of plant so what is mean by mangrove mangrove is a shrub or a small tree mangrove is a shrub or small tree that grow in the coastline saline or brackish or salty water do you know is it the sea and ocean the near the sea shore or sea beaches you can see there is a plant or small tree grow there so that is called mangrove and this mangrove's roots are above the soil and above the water for breathing okay the last feature is that plants in plains this is a four types of plant so the plant which live in plains there is a not too hot neither too hot or not too cold in hilly areas so this plant which grow in plain receive a average rainfall means no more water no less water the average average rainfall is received in the plain and what are the features of the plant that grow in plain first feature is that the in this region the trees have thin and broad leaves you can see that the the leaves are thin and broad why you can see that it can capture the lot of sunlight if the sunlight is available so plant make the food by the process called photosynthesis how are the leaves of plant in plains there are thin and broad why to capture a lot of sunlight to make their food is the first feature second is that the plant in place shed the leaves during the winter season now you can see that this is a tree or plant shedding the leaves during which season winter season is the second feature and third is that there are example of the some plant in plains like mango tree banyan tree peepal tree and the neem tree so these grow in the plain area so in this way today we learn the different types of terrestrial plants so this is your achievement these are the question learning at home learn it and write it the question is write two characteristics of following plant give two characteristics of desert plants plants in hills plant in marshes and plant in plains do it and learn it thank you